2020 Centurion VI-22. This is a brand new model for Centurion on the 2020 season. And we're gonna go through and talk about how it's the same and how it's different from uh, other models in the Centurion lineup. First off, it's a 22 foot long, 102 inch beam boat, has a draft of 36 inches, weighs in at a little over 5,100 pounds, has 63 gallon fuel tank, and holds 12 people. The hull is a is the OptiV hull. Um, and if you look at, we'll get around to the transom of it, but we'll look at the bow first. It is mimicked off of the RI. It's, it's almost like a RI-237 that has gone on a diet. And what we're gonna notice is the thickness right here. They've chopped the height of the deck down. It's chopped a little bit on below the rub rail and slimmed it out a little bit. It loses a little bit of ballast, but it is still, it's still packing a bunch. It has 4,600 pounds of ballast between the ram fill and all of the other ballast, uh, the quick ballast. So the bow is very much RI, and so is the shear line coming down. And actually we're gonna spin around and look at this. this. And if you are familiar with an RI-237 or in the RI series, You'll recognize that. Nice shot of ram fill. Fills over 2,000 pounds in 90 seconds. It is awesome. Works really well. Comes on an extreme trailer. White tandem trailer. Uh, LED lights, disc brakes, torsion suspension. Option with the rear steps. And trains and tie downs. It's pretty awesome. It's a good shot of the silent stinger tab which muffles the exhaust coming out of the uh, out of the engine cuts down on steam as underneath the plate the stinger plate it injects water into that where it mixes and we really just cut down the amount of steam that comes out of the back of the boat and makes it quieter quick surf tabs continue on with the slight turn down on uh, on the plates that really magnifies the ability to adjust the surf wave. I like the platform. They've really thinned it out towards the end, taper it down. See how much of it, how it tapers down. Nice, has a nice little grab handle here. They always do a nice job of that. It's a very square boat on the transom. I mean, it's, it has to be probably near a hundred inches at the transom. So let's come in here and take a look at, pop my shoes off. Big walkover transom walkthrough, so we're not standing on vinyl. The trunks here, nice, nice area with the drains. Fit all sorts of doodads in there. Camera in the walkway. So you can see behind you from the driver's seat. This has the black over silver gator step option throughout the boat. I really like the, the uh, deck traction. So whenever you're stepping on the boat, you can step on a nice soft piece of traction and maybe not your vinyl. On the tower, we have uh, option the PTM racks that are clamping rack. The new Spark sound system um, comes with Roswell R1s. Huge improvement over uh, the 2019 version of Sparks. So those are really nice speakers. You can see that they have some lights in them. Nice LED lights. And then we do have a transom light. Transom light. Yeah, it's probably a transom light, but they call it a tower light in the boat. As we come around, on the interior. Well, we'll start out with some storage. This boat does come with the six liter, 409 horsepower. And we might as well look at it while we're here. 
I like how those open up. Works really well. Tray. Pretty good for ropes and everything. If I knew how to open this, that'd be great. There you go. So 409 horsepower out of this six liter. Fully closed cooled. That's a new thing from PCM this year where blocks, cylinder heads, and exhaust all has antifreeze running through it. All right, now let's get to one of my favorite features. So we have a traditional full U setup of seating, but we all know the action is behind the boat. So Centurion on the VI has added a starboard lean back, boom, a port side lean back, and the transom seat slides. You can also option backrests that slide in to that bench. We did not get it on this boat, but this is a nice feature. But this, and then, this is actually, it's a pretty easy step. This is not that bad. We have two, three, four, five, six, six rear-facing seats comfortable rear-facing seats in the back of the boat. You can still sit another person there sideways if you really want to do seven, eight, nine in the driver. So behind the windshield, pretty easily, you have nine people. For a boat that is rated for 12. It's dark in there. You know what, let me lighten this up. I'll show you a trick that Centurions do. All the way through. Pretty awesome. Good communicating storage. The black plastic on the wall there is the air dam that slides in the in, through the walkway. We have option to heater on this boat. Because even in the Midwest, you do need a little bit of heat to extend your spring and your fall. Makes it comfortable to go boating. New for 2020 is the Clarion head unit. We have USB over there on the right hand side and Bluetooth. Remote over on the starboard side. And then the big Centurion screen. This thing works pretty darn well. We have an addition, you can add another camera to it. Set your ballast up, set your plates up. Actually, this is a ballast. Navigation. If we were outside, it would actually show a little bit more. Lights. Uh, rider presets. It'll set the boat up. And they've done a really good job, like right from the factory, that those are darn close. Those are really good. Nice setup. Easy to use. Our switches our horn, bilge, blower, stereo, navigation, all that fun stuff. Over on the left hand side of the steering wheel is the stinger. And you can you can adjust your plate. You can hear it running in. And then this is cruise control. One of the big things, actually two of the big things on a Centurion on controlling the surf wave is the stinger plate and cruise. 
So even just adjusting the sp speed by a tenth of a mile per hour can make a big difference on how your wave, your wave, your surf wave is shaped up. It does come with a bimini top and it has surfboard uh, sleeves in the top of it. And we didn't talk about the colors on the outside because I was talking about the VI. It's red metallic and white on the outside. And then we have a uh, red hex, black, silver, and charcoal on the interior. It's a really pretty boat. If you have any more questions about this beautiful Centurion VI-22, give us a call at N3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253.